Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it is Friday, which means it is time for Fridays with Fred. Fridays with Fred is the, I have trouble calling these episodes, but I guess they're episodes. I don't know. The days we're discussing my adventure in crafting everything that is in this book. It is Knitting the Neighborhood, the official knitting patterns of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. It is by an editorial board, but um, each pattern designer is identified in the book. We voted, and the first project I am doing is called The Beginnings Cardigan, and it is designed by Carla Patrick. And here it is. We've got the model and Mr. Rogers himself wearing a version of it. And um, I have finished the back panel. I'm now working on the left front panel. And I'm making a good amount of progress each week now. Um, it's a smaller panel. So smaller panel, less stitches, more height. We're good. Um, so here we are for this week. Oh, where's the stitch marker? <laughs> I should pick a brighter stitch marker. Um, so there, and then got all the way up to there. It curls pretty severely because we're working in stockinette stitch here. Um, but I measured, we're at a total of 11 inches now. I worked to 16 inches. And then um, the portion I did this week was four and a half inches. So I am... I believe I should reach the armhole decreases next week, but I might be just about at the armhole decreases. It's going to be close, but progress is being made. So this obviously is worked um, flat and then sewn together. There's no picking up stitches anywhere in the pattern. So I do think it's a, it's a pretty beginner friendly pattern. Um, for tools, the yarn is Hayfield Bonus Erin Tweed in Chestnut. I am using my Chowgu Interchangeable Needle Set um, that Brian got me for uh, Christmas. I like the um, five and a half inch tips, so that's what he got me. And then obviously the book I'm using, The Knitting in the Neighborhood. My project is contained in this beautiful whisk bag <clears throat> that I won from Dee at Dee's Creative Hands. It's a nice bee bag. We know Dee loves her bees and it says things like sweet and queen and be yourself. <laughs> I love it. I love puns. I love puns. I can't help it. Um, there's no real goal for completion of this. I guess, well, the main goal is I am determined to never again have a decade sweater. If you don't know the story of the Decade Sweater, I knit a sweater for my father and it took a decade. <laughs> it was the pattern that got lost. It was, I was making it and then my cat um, got very sick. That's actually the cat that Crafting Kitty was named after. And um, he had an accident in the bag. I got frustrated. And I was going to have to rip out a bunch to get rid of the yarn. And I mean, I can't blame him because it was, it was his illness, but you know, I just got it cleaned up and then I had to set it aside and I didn't realize how long it got set aside. It got set aside for a long time. <laughs> um, but I actually did finish it and not this last Christmas, but the Christmas before it was my father's Christmas present, finally, and um, I had to send it to him. And the funny thing was, he um, he called me, and he was like, I got a box today. And I picked it up, and I thought, no way. And then I opened it, I was like, ah! <laughs> because we both, like, he has projects, he's a woodworker, that have just been on his plate for a very long time, so he never, like ribbed me or nagged me or you know said anything about where is my sweater you know every once in a while would be a joke like oh you'll get the sweater when your aunt gets her chest 
he's been working on a cedar chest for a very long time. <laughs> um, and yeah, the sweater beat the chest. <laughs> Anyway, so that trip down memory lane, there's no, there's no goal other than to get it done. This is being made for my husband, Brian. So I'm doing it to his size. I, I can't foresee there's any reason it won't be ready for him to wear in the fall. Um, it is a 20% wool yarn. So it's not something he's going to want to wear before fall. And it's a perfect color for autumn. It, it is going to be great. Um, it does have a zipper. I think the zipper part will be the most complicated piece to install. And I might go ahead and just do a tutorial of when I do it because I get some questions on that quite a bit. And I'm going to do it differently than the book instructs. Oh, going off on my own. I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue. Um, basically, I don't hand sew if I don't have to. <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> That's, we have the luxury of the invention of the sewing machine, and let's utilize that tool that has been given us. <laughs> okay, I will see you all later. It is Friday, as I said before, so um, Brian and I should be on with Fridays with Fred. Fingers crossed something should be arriving today, and we're, <laughs> we're going to do it. For poor decisions. Um, if it doesn't arrive, I don't know what we're going to do for poor decisions, but that just makes it an even poorer decision, right? If we hold it to the last minute, it's got to be crazy. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>